We're back asking the controversial question, should you have the right to end your own life? We wanted to hear what you thought, and we conducted a nationwide poll on DrOz.com. We asked, should doctors assist patients who want to end their own lives? 54% of you said yes, they should. 37% of you said no, they should not. And 9% of you were undecided. So I wanted to hear from our audience. Nadina, where's Nadina? If I just, Nadina and Danny are part of an organization, it's called You're Not Dead Yet. Not Dead Yet. I'm going to have Danny speak first. He wants to answer there. Thank you, Dr. Raz. Thank you, Dana. I'm very glad that I'm here with you. My physical condition is very similar to yours. I was diagnosed in 1988 with what they called at the time chronic progressive MS. I thought my life was over. I had to retire. My wife left me, took the children. Certainly, I wanted to die. And if I had that option at the time that you spoke about, I believe I would have taken it. But I'm so grateful that I didn't have that option. I'm a disability rights activist and a strong opponent of the legalization of physician-assisted suicide. I'm in love. I've been in love for 18 years with the woman sitting beside me, and I wouldn't give up this life for anything. Dana, I would urge you to come be with us, be with the disabled community, and find what I found. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yes, Marta. I have to make a comment about this because I personally, and this is no, no uh, you know, uh, aspersion against how this is produced, but to pit patient against patient isn't really the way to do this. And uh, as much as, let me just finish, I'm sorry. I want to finish this. I, I love you so. I want to comment about something because something that Dr. Ablo said earlier about having checked in with Holland about the reasons why people listed. Well, here in the United States, in Oregon, the Department of Health there listed the reasons why people sought to do this. And it wasn't because of depression. Some of them listed things like it's because they have no ability whatsoever to continue on a life that they, they considered valuable. Number two, they felt as if they had lost so much control that it lost for them their dignity. Dignity is an individual thought. Yeah. It's uh, not a collective. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor. If I can just make a yeah. uh, tell, uh, it is not our intent, and I want it to be clear sure. for everybody, to pit patient against patient. But I think no, the, but it's but, 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 I'm sorry, we're not patient. People against people. 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 The, 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 the passion I'm that patient. individuals have as they interpret their life experience varies. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think there's no way except to allow that rawness to be expo sure. expressed. And the reason I've got, and I, and I love the fact that you all came here today, is because it allows us to have an honest discussion, which we're not having today in America, in a way that doesn't polarize us, but at least gets people to see how the other side sees it. Keith. And let me, let me just do a bit of therapy on the grand scale. It's impossible not to pit patient against patient in this regard or person against person. Why? Because he feels it. See, when you speak to suicide as someone's right, you happen to be speaking to folks who are on the edge, who need to be pulled closer to life. And do they take offense when they realize what beauty they have found since that moment? Sure they do. Why wouldn't they? This is an affront to those folks. Slow down with the affront, my boss. Well, no, no, if no, you look, so, I just If you were so no, no, good no, no. at being a psychologist or psychiatrist, we wouldn't have this question because you lead people I, on a path I save better. lives all Calm the time, I hope, and Calm I feel that. that you are Calm down making with that. my job harder. Well, tough. That's what it should happen. Your job should no, be harder. No, it shouldn't be harder. Out. It should be it's not one he just made everyone. that hero out there. That hero out there. It's not one Just made my job easier. People all across America now, because of you, Mehmet Oz, and because of that gentleman, and because of this show, and you, are now, because of that statement, saying, you know what, maybe I can go another day. Maybe there's love for me. Who ever thought a fellow who couldn't move his arms or legs, who has to use a respirator to speak, could find the love of a great woman? 
Well, he did. Okay. So you are. What are your thoughts? I, I've never been in that amount of pain, and I certainly do not take away from that. However, I do believe that life in any capacity is a gift from God. And if you only have a voice, he gave you that voice, and you're supposed to use that voice to be powerful. He gave us life. He takes our life away. And that's what I believe. Thank you very much.